Hey folks, welcome to Dieberry Outdoors. Today we're gonna be cooking a honkin' cheeseburger over an open fire. It's gonna be nuts, so stay tuned. So as you can see, I've already got my firewood laid out here, and uh, we'll go over that in another video and how to process all of that, but my idea here is to make kind of a keyhole fire in this sand here, and then uh, have a channel that comes down to allow me to drag some of these hot coals from the fire into there, and then I could build up some walls or maybe use some sticks to uh, lay my grill across and cook food over the nice hot coals of the fire. All right, so I've dug this little fire pit here and I've got the little keyhole part of it down here. Um, I'm not really sure how this is gonna work because I've never actually done this before. If you've done this, if you know anything about making keyhole style fires or making fires in the sand, let me know in the comments because it's all new to me, baby. All right, so while that fire burns down to a nice hot bed of coals, I'm gonna show you guys what I packed. So in the bag, what you already saw me open was my little waxed cotton pouch here. And inside this, I've got my ferro rod, which you saw. I've got my open L, I believe this is a number nine. Um, excellent kind of cooking knife for the outdoors. And we'll put it down here for now. I've got my spork. And that's about it in here right now, but this thing keeps it nice and dry. Now in the backpack, we've got today the non-stick skillet, which is gonna come in handy for the fried onions and the egg that I'm gonna be putting on the burger later. I've got my cup for tea. I've got my water for tea. Now I could be using river water, of course, uh, but we're not gonna be doing that today. To cook the burger, I've got my little bushcraft grill here gonna be using this size. I might use the smaller one as well here, uh, but I'm not sure yet. And also in this little bag, I've got these stainless steel tongs. In here, I've also got a cutting board or a plate. And I've got my zebra pot. I've got another stainless steel plate uh, that's good for you know, holding food or eating off of. Let's move that out of the way in my zebra pot here. And I've got my handkerchief, my tea, can't go anywhere without that. I've got my spices. 
And in the bottom for today's video, we've got a nice pretzel roll and an onion. Now the meat and cheese and stuff like that, I don't keep in the backpack. I keep that in a separate container and just carry it with me wherever I'm going. I don't want to cross contaminate or just kind of risk getting all that all over my other gear and things like that, so. We got a nice pretzel roll here. We're gonna be grilling that later. And an onion. So who doesn't love some fried onions. So while this fire is burning down, I think it's a good time to get some tea on and also uh, get my pan on and fry up some bacon. All right, so our onions frying, our tea's on, and our bacon's done. So I think what's next is we're gonna try to pull out some of those hot coals down to that little kind of trench I made there and uh, see if we can lay a grill across it and get a burger on there. Uh, but I forgot the egg. Where's the egg? All right, got it. All right, so what we're gonna do is pull some of these hot coals down here. I'm gonna get this guy out of the way and move some of these guys down in here, down into our little keyhole section. All right, so that's a crazy amount of heat coming off those guys there. And now what I wanna do is lay my grill across this to be able to cook my burger on it. But I think it needs to be elevated just a little bit, so we're gonna use this piece here Maybe this piece over here. Let's see if our grill can fit right across. Just like that. Wow! I'm gonna throw that right on top.
All right, so we're done. I got my tea. <clears throat> and the most important part. I got this big honking cheeseburger. So, we got a nice pretzel roll, grilled over the open fire, a burger patty, two slices of cheese, fried egg, fried onions, bacon, and some nice smoked mustard. So, let's do this. Mm. Dang. It's too good. Oh my God. This is so good. I shared. Mm. Seriously, it's probably the best cheeseburger I've ever had in my life. All right, it's getting dark out here, so I'm going to boogie after I finish this, of course. I'll catch you guys next time. Please like and subscribe. It's my first video. I'd really love to see the channel grow. Tell me what you guys want to see, and uh, I'll catch you all later.